Hello world, Shelly here, and today we are going to talk about the current sunscreens that I am rotating through my collection right now. I know it is Friday. We're going to talk sunscreen instead of foundation. I promise on Monday I will bring you the MAC Studio Radiance. We will have extra foundation next week, but today we are going to talk about sunscreen. I hope you are cool with that. Let's talk sunscreen. So I was really hoping that the new Purito sunscreens would be available by now, but they're not. Purito, the SPF 50 was my favorite for quite some time. They had a little issue with it not being quite the SPF that was stated on the label. They discontinued it. They are reformulating. So let's talk about these sunscreens that I am wearing instead of the Purito. Now, my favorite I have no longer because I haven't been able to get to Ireland the past year due to the pandemic, and it comes from La Roche-Posay. It is the Shaka fluid, and I prefer the European formulation of it. I generally prefer the European sunscreen agents. I feel like the US is a bit behind in approving some of them, but I haven't been back to get it. So I've been branching out into some other ones. Now, another that I don't have with me because I am out of it, but I also thoroughly approve of is the Make P Rem SPF 50. I get that on Amazon and it is wonderful under makeup, super lightweight, no white cast, love that one. I have a few drugstore ones here and a couple high end ones that we will talk about. Let's talk old favorites. This one's been in my collection forever. I mean in my rotation forever, not this particular bottle in my collection, but the Australian Gold Botanical Face Sunscreen SPF 50. It is slightly tinted, so I prefer it in the summer. It's also just a smidgy, teeny, teeny, teeny bit too drying to wear in the winter for me, although I do sometimes wear it in the winter. That's not to say it's drying. It is just a texture that is less hydrating than some of the other options. The upside, we are talking a mineral sunscreen, water resistant, 80, 80 minutes is what it says. So, Good if you're looking for specifically a mineral sunscreen. Does have a little bit of tint to it. Another reason why it's not something I wear as often in the winter time, because at least in the summer, I have a tiny smidge of color, but it doesn't leave, you know, it's not super dark. It's not, you know, my, my hand has no sun right now, and it really doesn't discolor much at all. So, thumbs up on that one. It is a bit of a matte finish if that is what you are going for. The line from the drugstore that I really like, and I've got two old school ones and one of their brand new ones. It's from Garnier and the Skin Active line, these I've used forever. I actually need to toss these because they're both a year old, but the Clearly Brighter SPF 30 Love this one. This one's actually almost empty. It helps with dark spots and hyperpigmentation in terms of getting rid of the ones you've already got. Of course, sun protection is going to help you prevent getting new ones. And I also like the Moisture Bomb version. It's an antioxidant moisturizer, SPF 30. These are both chemical sunscreens. Honestly, under makeup, most of the time, I prefer a chemical sunscreen. There's a lot of confusing or misleading information about the differences between chemical and mineral sunscreens out on the web. I highly recommend check out Lab Muffin Beauty Science if you want a clear, thorough, science-based breakdown of the difference between the two because it's really not as big of a difference as you think it might be. I like chemical sunscreens under makeup most of the time. This one is brand new from Garnier. It is their Green Labs line, which is sort of their, their clean line. It is the Replumping Serum Cream Hyalumelin SPF. <laughs> it's a lot of words. That's some strange, strange words. So this one is SPF 30. The It's got hyaluronic acid. There's watermelon in there, thus the Hyalumelin word. This one, it's kind of a serum consistency. It stays a little bit tacky. 
the way it feels, I almost want to put it beneath my moisturizer. I typically put my sunscreens on top of my moisturizer. You're going to find all kinds of confusing and conflicting information on that as well as to whether it should go before or after your moisturizer. Most of the time I put mine after, but this one I actually sometimes do put it beneath my moisturizer because it seems to sink in better. It is a chemical sunscreen as well. I like it. It's not too heavily fragranced, although it does smell a little bit like watermelon. And it's super duper, super duper hydrating. Like, I wore this through the winter when it first came out and thoroughly enjoyed it. So we'll see if it's going to be too hydrating come summertime. Not sure, you know, because it does give you that little bit of that dewy finish on the skin as well but I thoroughly enjoy it. I also like it if I have it over my moisturizer, it has that little bit of grip to it. If I'm gonna put makeup on right after my sunscreen, not timing right after, you know, I still wait 15 minutes, but if I'm wearing makeup that day, I'm going to lean toward this one because that, that just enough of a tacky finish is a really good gripping primer for foundation. I like a slightly tacky primer. So this kind of does double duty if I'm gonna wear makeup. If I'm not wearing makeup, that's when I'm gonna wanna put it under my moisturizer so I don't have that, that little tackiness left over, but highly, highly enjoying it, super hydrating. The other one that I'm falling in love with, I love La Roche-Posay just as a general rule of thumb. This is one of their American line formulas, but this is the Tolerane Double Repair Face Moisturizer UV Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And what got me was that it's prebiotic water. And you know the whole prebiotic, probiotic thing, your probiotics, your, your good bacteria that are hanging out and prebiotics feed those bacteria to keep your happy colonies going. So that's what kind of sucked me into this one. And I really like it. It doesn't leave a white cast. You might think as you first apply it, like, oh no, it's gonna be a white cast. It's really not. As soon as you rub it into the skin, it vanishes. It is just a cream texture and smooths out quickly, sinks into the skin. It has a, a dry-ish finish to it. Not a matte finish, but it sinks in so quickly that it's, it's dry. It's completely dry now. I don't feel any greasiness. I don't feel any moisture on the skin. It is, it's a really quick sink-in kind of a formula. This is also a chemical sunscreen as well. You get a good amount of product in here too. The other fun thing about this formula, there are ceramides and yes, niacinamide in here as well. Two things that I highly enjoy in my skincare routine. So thumbs up on this one. Probably my favorite of the American formula, the Roche-Posay sunscreens that I have tried. Also an excellent moisturizer. I wore this in the winter, no trouble. I wear sunscreen every single day, as you should as well. I didn't many years ago, and that's where these little sunspots came from, only on the driving side of my face, from driving an hour back and forth to work every day for 10 years with no sunscreen on. Do you see them over here? No, you don't, because they're not there, because this side of my face was exposed to the sun. Wear your sunscreen every day, I will get off my soapbox now. No, I'm really not off my soapbox, but I will stop talking about it now. Wear your sunscreen every day. Okay, I'm done. Last one. Pricey, but I do love this stuff. Mmm. Mm. So good. It's the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream SPF 30. I just, I enjoy Elemis products. I have a hard time paying full price for them, so I usually wait until I can get them in one of the big sales. And... Anything, this is the marine cream, and marine algae type of ingredients are super hydrating, and that's probably why I like this one so much. It feels luxurious, of course, as all of the Elemis products do. I will warn you that it has the signature Elemis scent, so if that fragrance bothers you or you don't like heavily scented products, this does smell like it. In the case of Elemis, I find their scent to be soothing, and I enjoy it. I do wish that none of my face products had fragrance in them, but such is life sometimes. Avoid them if you must, but uh, this is a 50 ml package and mm, it smells wonderfully relaxing, super hydrating, SPF 30, wears beautifully under makeup. I'm wearing it today actually, and it's good stuff. It's one of my faves. 
I, I like Elemis SPFs in general, mainly because they super moisturize. So those are the ones that are in my current rotation. You can bet your bottom dollar that as soon as Purito comes out with their reformulations, I am going to buy them moments after I find out they exist. I really cannot wait to try their new versions again because the SPF 50 that they discontinued was my absolute favorite under makeup and hopefully we'll get a good new formulation from them soon. But if you're looking for some drugstore, check out some Garnier or check out some La Roche Posay. If you like it on the high end, the Elemis is good stuff. Happy day, wear your sunscreen every single day, my peeps. Give me a sunshine emoji below if you wear your sunscreen every day. Mm, yes. That's all I got for you guys today. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over sunscreen with me today. Come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time for new videos. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. Thank you.